Imagine this. You're Ben Grimm, a college football player with your whole life ahead of you, and everything seems fine. You're best friends with Reed Richards and a rising scientist making newer and newer discoveries day by day. And one day he approaches you to ask if you could one day pilot a rocket he designed to travel into space to study cosmic rays. You say, yeah, sure, I'll pilot the totally safe rocket that won't in any way change my life forever. And so you fly the rocket through space with your best friend, his girlfriend, his girlfriend's brother, and even some really rude dude named Doom, and everything seems honky-dory, until it inevitably goes wrong. And you awake from the crash, morphing into a rock man. Your life forever changed, the way people look at you forever changed, and the person that's supposed to be in the mirror that's you is forever changed as well. Leaving yourself with nothing but the question, what if things were different? What if I never flew that stupid rocket? What if Doctor Doom became the thing instead? As we start the story, we see the Marvel Universe as it should be. The original Fantastic Four in some cosmic adventure fighting a malevolent Doctor Doom. Until the Watcher begs the question to the reader, what if something were just a little bit different? Cut to many years in the past, we see Ben Grimm and Reed Richards in college, with Ben attempting to be the best wingman possible for Reed. And after a little bit of fussing around between the two, Ben tries to set him up with a couple girls around campus, however Reed is dead set on Susan Storm. On their way back to their dorm room, they run into Victor Von Doom's room, and figure they should just stop by and break into his room. Rummaging through his things, Reed stumbles upon some of Doom's otherwise magnificent work until Doom attacks Ben by surprise, shouting for the vermin to leave the premises immediately. Reed then says he was just reviewing Doom's notes and that they just need a little reworking, but Doom, hearing this, he just screams at Reed, shoving the both of them out of his room, slamming the door behind them, and shouting to the hilltops that he is Victor Von Doom and his notes are superb. Reed just doesn't understand them. Furious that Reed presumed he'd be on the same level as Doom, Doom reviews his work and realizes that Reed was actually onto something. Meanwhile, Ben and Reed begin to talk about the future, that one day they'll both fly together in space and make many wondrous discoveries. Until Doom interjects himself into the conversation, apologizing to Reed for his outburst and that he'd like to exchange some ideas between himself and Reed while treating Ben like he doesn't even exist. And as the two of them walk along, exchanging several ideas for each other's work, they completely leave Ben Grimm left to hang dry. Cut to five years later, Reed and Doom celebrate their accomplishment of developing a rocket capable of studying cosmic rays in space, and when their mission is successful, they will have forged history. But Reed doesn't feel like celebrating quite yet, choosing instead to look over all the rocket's specs before liftoff, while Doom just insults Johnny Storm's intelligence. But Susan tells Reed that it's odd they chose liftoff to begin today, given that not too far from the launch site is where Ben Grimm is stationed to oversee a test site conducting gamma radiation, with Susan adding that it might be due to Doom's usual petty behavior. Reed basically says to Susan that it is what it is, However, Susan wishes Ben Grimm could have been here to actually fly the rocket like he always wanted to, and deep down, Reed knows it to be true. And as soon as Susan leaves, Doom lurks out from the shadows to attempt to riz up Susan into falling in love with him over Reed, right before launching, but Susan rejects Doom. Doom then acts like any old nice guy after getting rejected and shouts that he has wealth, power, and looks, but Susan still refuses, saying that after this launch, they won't need Doom for a damn thing anymore. <laughs> Cut to the launch, everything seems to be going as planned. Exiting Earth's orbit, the four are ecstatic being in space as they pass through cosmic rays that the rocket was made to analyze. However, before the launch, Doom had tampered with the shields instead and opted to create his own suit to protect himself while the others would surely die beside him. Therefore, Doom attempts to land the rocket back on Earth, but ends up crashing the rocket instead. After the crash, Reed, Susan, and Johnny exit the rocket, all feeling a slight bit off. As Susan becomes invisible, Johnny bursts into a ball of flame, and Reed becomes super stretchy, but while getting powers, they all wonder what happened to Doom. As they hear a scream not too far from the crash site, running over to find Doom freaking out because his suit absorbed all the energy from the cosmic rays. Reed tries to help Doom, but can't as Doom starts to morph into some thing. Screaming to Reed, what have you done? As his outside finally begins to match his inside. Doom, after his transformation, runs into the darkness looking for anything to cover himself so no one can see him like the thing he is. Reed then tries to tell Doom in the darkness to come back to the lab so we can reverse whatever happened to Doom, 
but Doom begins to attack Reed. Meanwhile, over at the Gamma Radiation test site, Bruce Banner and Ben Grimm are about to start tests on Gamma Bombs. Until Doom, along with Reed, enter the test zone, hitting the Gamma Bombs reactor, and Ben Grimm, seeing people out in the site, runs out to save them. Ben would then run out to find that Reed is one of the people that hit the bomb's reactor, so Ben tries to get Reed to safety ASAP, pushing Reed into a nearby trench, but too late to save himself as Ben would absorb the blast. After Ben would absorb the gamma radiation, he would fall back into the trench, seemingly dead. And while Reed reacting to his best friend dying, not even a second later, Dr. Thing begins to fire blasts at Reed. While fighting, Ben begins to wake up and seeing Reed getting attacked by Dr. Thing, he gets angrier and angrier, morphing into a big green hulk as the Hulk clobbers Dr. Thing, sending him crashing into a cliff face. With the Hulk's unrelenting force, he attempts to smush Dr. Thing like a bug, but Dr. Thing just barely escapes. As Dr. Thing lands a few solid blows on the Hulk, thinking he can actually defeat the Hulk. But upon hitting the Hulk with all of Dr. Thing's reserved strength, achieving nothing, Dr. Thing realizes he's truly doomed, because the Hulk grabs Dr. Thing by his cape and sends Dr. Thing slamming into the ground. Dr. Thing defeated, Hulk tries to to finish him off with a huge boulder, but Mr. Fantastic gets in the way. So the Hulk throws the boulder at Mr. Fantastic instead, causing Mr. Fantastic to get hurt while the Human Torch tries to fight off the Hulk. Mr. Fantastic would then shout to Human Torch that they can't hurt the Hulk because it's still bent underneath, while in the meantime, the Hulk hurdles several boulders towards Human Torch, till one eventually takes out the Human Torch. Hulk then makes a beeline for Invisible Woman and Mr. Fantastic, attempting to crush them beneath his feet with just a tiny force field staving the Hulk off. Invisible Woman then blasts the Hulk away with her invisible powers, and in just a few brief seconds while the Hulk picks up another boulder, Mr. Fantastic thinks he can get through to Ben if he just calms the Hulk down. So Mr. Fantastic shouts at the Hulk that he knows he has every right to be angry at him for turning his back on Ben, but he won't ever do it again, because deep down he's still his best friend, and he hopes Ben is still his. Hulk hearing this, he gets surprised, and drops the boulder to the side, remembering his old friend Reed. The Hulk then reverts to Ben Grimm, and in Ben's words, it all felt like a dream while Reed promises Ben that he'll find them all a cure. While the sore loser known as Doom flies off to plot some villainous scheme against the pair of friends, each of the heroes look forward to the future on what they can accomplish given their new abilities and the Four's inseparable bond, as they later go on to become the Fantastic Four. Ending the story. I hope you all liked the story because I certainly did, and I'm glad I discovered it at a local flea market because as soon as I saw the thing wearing Doctor Doom's outfit, I instantly knew that this story would be a banger. But with that, I want to thank y'all for watching, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.